Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen or at least a small portion of it. You guys are probably wondering why is she in her kitchen today? And if you don't follow me on any of my other socials, you probably aren't aware that I'm super into health and fitness just as much as I am makeup. I've talked about it a little bit here on my channel, but not in too much detail. But on Snap, you guys always see me going to the gym. You see me always making healthy recipes. And I get asked a lot about my green smoothie, which I always claim is good for your skin. It's great to get your serving of veggies. So I figured I would do a video on it so it has somewhere to live here on my channel. That way you guys can always reference it versus doing it on Snap and then it disappears. And if this video goes well and you guys enjoy it, let me know, give me some feedback, and I will definitely include more of these videos here on my channel if you guys want me to. So I'm gonna be going over my green smoothie. This is my go-to. If Kyle likes it, I promise you guys will like it as well because when I first started dating Kyle, he did not eat a single vegetable. He literally ate only meat. I remember serving him one of my green smoothies from back in the day and he absolutely hated it. And now he loves it and craves it as well. And it just makes you feel so much better and I thought, what better time to do it than the day after Thanksgiving um, for those of you in the US and also the new year is just around the corner and I know a lot of people's New Year's resolutions are to get healthy and fit. So I hope this helps you guys out even just a tiny bit. So if you're interested, keep on watching. All right, I'm gonna jump straight into making the smoothie because I'm getting hungry and I wanna drink it. And I actually have this little cheat sheet in front of me that has a little diagram of different fruits and veggies and their benefits because if I tried to memorize everything, I would forget. And I tend to keep this on my fridge just for personal reference. And so the first ingredient is the main ingredient and the one that is gonna be great for your skin. And that is a cucumber. And all the ingredients I'm gonna be showing you guys are organic. Try and do organic if you're gonna be blending. If you can't, always refer to the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen, which I will link in the description box. So you know which ones you absolutely should be getting organic and which ones you can kind of get away with not being organic. So for the cucumber, I like to do half a cucumber. Kyle told me to be careful and not chop off my finger and get distracted, so. And then on my cheat sheet, it says cucumbers are good for regulating a body temperature. They're an essential part of skincare, which there's more to it than just that, which I will also include in the description box. They regulate blood pressure and promote hair growth. Also keep in mind, this makes two servings. So I'm making enough for both Kyle and I. So um, if it's just for yourself, you can do less than half a cucumber. Moving on. <laughs> and next I have a pear and there is no information on this on the cheat sheet. Was it DJ Khaled that swore by pears? So apparently DJ Khaled swore by um, pears for making him lose weight. Really though, the only reason I add a pear is because it makes the smoothie taste better if you're someone that hates the taste of vegetables. And I again only do half a pear for this one. Next I have celery and for this I tend to do about three ribs I believe they're called because a stalk is the whole thing. So three ribs of celery. Celery promotes a healthy immune system, lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol and reduces cancer risk. I do one whole green apple. This is also gonna help to sweeten the smoothie up. And in terms of benefits, it helps to reduce cancer risk, aids in liver detoxification, settles an upset digestive system, and fights the effects of aging of the brain. <laughs> the next ingredient is kale. This one's already pre-chopped and from Trader Joe's. I believe it is not organic, but it should be. And um, I just like this bag because it's really easy to just grab a handful and toss in the smoothie. I don't really measure this, it's always just a handful. And it says here that kale helps maintain strong bones, lowers cholesterol, aids in liver detoxification, and reduces cancer risk. So a handful of that. Spinach is up next, and normally I do the one that's in the bag. It's just a lot easier. It comes pre-washed. I decided to go fresh for this video and get really fancy. And same thing, I just do a handful of spinach for this one, not um, a really strict measurement. Spinach helps bone maintenance, lowers blood pressure, protects against eye disease, and reduces cancer risk. So we're just gonna be fighting cancer up in this kitchen. Ginger is up next, and I love adding ginger to smoothies because it gives it a nice little refreshing kick. And ginger aids in the treatment of allergies, which is really good for Kyle because he has severe allergies. Prevents and treats the cold and flu, lowers cholesterol, and aids in digestion. This is gonna be a little TMI, but ginger actually helps to release any excess gas in your body. So if you're ever feeling bloated, ginger is 
great for that. Pineapple. This does have health benefits, but I like to think of it as a way to sweeten any green smoothie. If you're someone who's not used to drinking green smoothies or eating a lot of vegetables and don't really like the flavor of them, maybe go in with a little more pineapple. I tend to just do a handful, um, but I remember when I was first getting Kyle used to it, I did add a lot more and now he doesn't like as much. But yeah, feel free to add as much pineapple as you like, maybe blend it up, taste it, and it, if it's not sweet enough and you're still tasting a lot of vegetables and not liking it, add a little more pineapple, it's not gonna hurt. It's gonna be a little more sugar, but I think it's totally fine. At least you're getting your veggies in. Next, I have a lemon and this is actually inside a lemon saver because I already um, cut it in half and used a little bit of it today. These are great because they help preserve your lemons that are already cut in half. If you're someone that loves lemon like myself, I add it to everything, even foods that it doesn't really go with. <laughs> it's the Mexican in me, I love lemon. Um, this helps to preserve it so you're not just cutting it and then putting it in the fridge. Then that way it doesn't get any bacteria or dries out. Um, I used to do that all the time until I got this. Um, and I tend to squeeze an entire lemon into a smoothie. Lemons aid in antibacterial activity, removes wrinkles and blackheads. So I'm assuming this is like if you were to rub it on your actual skin, not just drinking it. <laughs> Reduces mental stress and depression, which is really interesting, and it helps to break a fever. So those are all the ingredients. Feel free to add anything additional. I know a lot of people like to add spirulina, cilantro, uh, parsley. I personally don't like those in my smoothies. I can taste them, I don't like them, especially parsley. Every time I've added parsley to a smoothie or juice, I think it tastes like grass. <laughs> Even though I know parsley has a ton of health benefits and so does cilantro or cilantro and so does uh, um, spirulina, which is really easy to add actually if you get the powder or the tablets, but I just don't have them on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash these and I'll be back to blend them up. Okay, I have all the ingredients in here. The last thing I tend to add is cayenne pepper. Sometimes I forget and sometimes Kyle just asks that I not add it because it does make the drink spicy But I like to just add a little dash especially with the ginger. It just gives it a really nice Refreshing feel plus it opens up your sinuses that little bit of spiciness. So I feel so like Like a professional <laughs> I feel like a Martha Stewart up in here. So just add a dash of this. I think I'm actually all out. So whatever And then from here, all I'm gonna do is add water. I tend to add about um, halfway, what is this called? In the pitcher, like halfway up, I guess, I don't know. You're supposed to add less water, but I like it to be a little more on the watery side versus super chunky. And then also if it's not blending, I'll add more water, but I fill the pitcher up about halfway. And all that's left to do is blend it. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it. This is a Vitamix, super fancy. I think a Ninja is another really good one. The Bullet's a really good one if you wanna make individual size smoothies. We got this one off Craigslist. Um, definitely look on there before you buy it full price because it is pricey, but this is totally worth it and such a great investment. I mean, we use it every single day, so I highly recommend a Vitamix if you don't already have one. And also the Vitamix has a smoothie setting, so I just put it on the smoothie setting and here we go. So again, like I mentioned, this was for two servings. If it's just for yourself, cut everything in half. Um, this is for me and Kyle. Babe, do you wanna come get your smoothie? Do you wanna come get your smoothie and cheers me on camera? And then I always give Kyle the more messy one because, you know, I put in all the work, so. All right. <laughs> cheers. And Kyle is so tall, he doesn't even fit in frame. For those of you guys who don't know, I am five feet tall. Kyle is 6'3". Mm -hmm. Shocker, I know. Okay, you can get out now. <laughs> I don't need to be more bye. Where are you going? All right, guys, that completes no, my- It's weird what you just told you right there. <laughs> All right, guys, that completes my first ever smoothie tutorial here on my channel. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Some other things I want to mention about the smoothie, it is full of fiber, so it will make you poop. <laughs> full of nutrients, great for your skin, especially with the cucumber in it. It's great whenever you feel like you've been eating really crappy and just need something to sort of detox and cleanse. Um, we tend to have our smoothie in the morning, afternoon, that's ideal, but sometimes we'll have it for dinner like how we're doing right now because um, either we've had a really big meal or something really crappy like fast food and we just feel like eating something light for dinner. This is really filling, don't underestimate it. I don't really tend to eat a an entire meal with this because I'm way too full. I can never drink this and eat an entire meal. 
together. Um, I think that's about it. That's all I have to say about my smoothie. Definitely leave me your feedback if you enjoyed it, what you thought of this video, because again, if you guys like them, I will make more of them for you guys. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Let me know if you're gonna be trying out this smoothie. If you do, make sure to tag me in any photos of you drinking your smoothie. And cheers, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> okay, that's dirty. That's dirty. Yeah. Yeah, you like can that. put her paw on the cutting board. Gotta wait for Mika to finish drinking her water.